Governor Lamont is asking everyone to pick up their phones and download the How We Feel application. Here's the app's creator on how it can help make predictions about the coronavirus pandemic and how it can help drive public policy decisions as to when and how to reopen the state. It started with an idea. Maybe if we collect enough information, uh, we can find some unique combination that, uh, that's unique to COVID-19 and not uh, for other uh, diseases. And it uh, turned out that um, many scientists around the world have also been working on uh, similar ideas. And so in the state of Israel, um, um, uh, at the Weizmann Institute, they have uh, put out a survey just like this, and uh, they were able to uh, predict uh, new outbreaks um, geographically uh, several days in advance of what the public health data shows. And turned into the How We Feel Project, a nonprofit organization focused on collecting data about how people are feeling in order to predict the timeline of the coronavirus pandemic. For instance, uh, of all the different types of symptoms, coughing, fever, um, there's one symptom, the loss of taste or smell, that seems to be very strongly related to COVID-19. And it's not related to the season of flu or seasonal allergies. And um, so as we collect more data, I think we're gonna be able to start to find even more features that uniquely identify with COVID-19. And by using those features, we'll be able to make um, uh, reasonable predictions. Connecticut, as the first state to partner with the project, will be able to make public policy decisions based on the data from the program. We continue to update our survey. Uh, as we look to open and reopen the economy, we uh, ask people, uh, do you feel safe to go outside now? Um, and we're updating our survey to be able to get a sense of what the general sentiment is. And those can help inform uh, policymakers too. We already know about 60% of people in Connecticut wear a facial covering when they go outside, and 60 to 70% are self-isolating at home. They also keep track of people who have tested positive and how long it takes for them to get results back. In Connecticut, it's about two to two and a half days. Since its launch two weeks ago, more than 360,000 people have downloaded the app or logged onto the website. 20,000 people in Connecticut have done the same. That also means that 360,000 people have donated a meal to someone in need. So every download of the app um, is matched with one free meal donation uh, to Feeding America. Um, and and we, we, we did that because we recognize that there's um, a, a huge food shortage, uh, especially in the food banks around the country, and many people are hard hit. Taking this daily survey about how you feel is one way that you can cooperate in helping to measure this pandemic. Take out your phone and download the How We Feel application or you can go onto their website, howwefeel.org. We have a tutorial of the survey for you on our website at fox61.com. You can find all of the information that you need to know there. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.